the News Channel 20 Sports Desk, sponsored by Route 66 Solar. For two decades, the Decatur boat race was shelved, but after partnerships and scheduled changes, Decatur's famous event returned in full force. Decatur official Sean Bowser helped plan the race. He projected between three to 5,000 visitors this past Saturday. No more two decade droughts, he says. The boat race is back next year. The shoreline was packed. Vendors ran out of food early. It was, I, I couldn't ask for a better day yesterday. Next year, year after that, I said I'd do it for five years and we're gonna do it for at least five more years. And I got to go to the event a little bit early and I got to talk to some of the racers. And I was curious about how they found out about this sport. You know, the boats look like spaceships and they fly 100 miles per hour. So I talked to two competitors and they had one thing in common. They're following in their dad's footsteps. Been in boat racing uh, with my dad since so six months old. And, uh, you know, my mom drug me down there. And then, you know, like I said, I've been doing it ever since. My dad raced boats back in the 50s. Which, like uh, which I don't remember, but he always took me to boat races as a child. Bobby King and Carl Adams, two pilots in this weekend's Decatur boat race. Both are following the footsteps of their fathers, who were also pilots. Well, he's 91 now. Talk, and every time we get on the phone or meet up or whatever, it's always boats. Civil, but still competitors. Multiple people told me Bobby King has become nearly unstoppable. <laughs> are you going to beat Bobby today? Are you going to knock him off? No, no. I'll, I'll, be lucky. I'll be lucky if he doesn't lap me. <laughs> It's, it's, that boat is awesome. Bobby's got a full crew by his side. And his father, Jimmy, the 64-year-old who still races when he isn't helping out his son. You know, hopefully I'm uh, just, as, just as fortunate to have that long of a career. Whether it's getting the boat ready to go or giving his son tips from the dock, it's a bond that's developed over the course of years. At the very beginning, I didn't think he wanted nothing to do with it, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah. Bobby has embraced the sport and he secured another championship on Sunday, separating himself from the competitors. And for Jim, he's willing to travel any weekend with his son and be a part of the sport that they love. My biggest thing is that he's 30 years old and he still likes hanging out in the shop with me playing with his race boat. Not many people get that opportunity. Springfield Lucky Horseshoes took on the Illinois Valley Pistols and it's always nice to see a couple of goats jumping around the diamond. Jumping to the sixth inning, the Shoes forced a pop out to get out of the inning with the two run lead. Illinois Valley would then hit a couple batters and the Shoes made him pay, breaking the game wide open with a base clearing triple. The Shoes coast to an 18 to eight victory and end a three game skid. Maybe the Goats were a little bit of good luck. Next up is a Tuesday road trip to Clinton. And former Illinois basketball player Terrence Shannon Jr.'s criminal trial starts tomorrow. He was charged with rape in December. Shannon has pled not guilty and jury selection is tomorrow and the trial is expected to last for four days. I'm Carson Gordy. Have a good night. Thanks for watching. Stick around by subscribing today and don't miss a single video.